Sorry ha, hindi pa kasi ako nakapag-wax. Kaya medyo kakaibok pa yung itsura niya. Ayan, nakita nyo. Mm, maitim pa din. Dati ganito yung kulay. Nagkiligili ko ngayon na yan. Tapos, ito naman yung kabila. Yung kabila medyo nagsistart na siya maglighten. Pero yung problema ko kasi yung fold, parang doon na ipon yung hyperpigmentation. Parang kagaya niya, no? Yung mga line-line. So, that's that. <music> Ito na, ladies and gentlemen, ang big reveal, ang whitening product na ginagamit ko sa aking kilikili comes in this tiny little jar. Ito po ay ang sikat na sikat na Mamala Virgin Dio. Just letting you guys know, ang original packaging, ganito po ang itsura niya. Tapos inside, ang itsura ng cream is just plain white. Ito naman yung itsura ng updated packaging na newer formulation nila. Pag binuksan nyo po sa loob, yung improved version nila, ganito naman ang itsura sa loob. Makikita nyo may parang mga blue na beads. Yun po yung mga blue minerals na very very powerful pagdating sa pagpapaputi ng inyong kilikili. Pagpapaputi ng inyong kilikili. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Chris. Thank you so much for stopping by. Whew. Medyo nahihirapan ako sabihin sa inyo kung tungkol saan itong video na to. But by far, this is one of the hardest videos that I ever had to film. Pero I have to tell you the truth, okay? Before we continue, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also click the tiny bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. If you are new to the channel, well, hello, welcome sa ating pamilya. If in case you're an old or if you've been a very loyal viewer, well, hello, welcome back sa inyong panonood dito sa channel na to. I was pregnant last year until March 10. And um, isa sa mga naging problema ko nung ako ay nagpuntis kay Liam River, my beautiful baby boy. Ako po ay nagkaroon ng sobrang, sobrang, sobrang dark na underarms. Nakita nyo naman doon sa video clip na pinakita ko sa inyo. Talaga naman, ha? Nakakadiri po tingnan yung aking kilikili. That is exactly why nung ako ay nanganak na, sabi ko, isa sa mga priorities ko pagdating sa pagbabalik-alindog ko ay ang bumalik ang dating itsura ng aking kilikili. And I'm very, very grateful for all the online resellers who have been recommending this product to me. The product that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is this. This is not the first time that you see this in my videos. I did an exclusive video talking about this and that video is by far, as of the moment, one of my highest viewed videos. But in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my current situation and my current relationship with the Mamala Virgin Dio. Sa sobrang sikat itong product na to, ang daming gumamit ng video ko na yun. At the same time, marami rin ako natulungan sa inyo. Pero napansin ko doon sa comment section, nakakakita ako ng mga comments or mga experiences ng aking mga viewers telling me na, I this product did this, this product made my underarms look like this. Na parang ako sabi ko, parang hindi naman ata totoo yun because I am experiencing something that is really revolutionary because it was able to lighten my underarms until one day I experienced the same stuff that they did first few jars of the original formulation ni Mamala okay ako but the moment I tried the new formulation yung my blue beads ito actually ito yun eh wala na ako ng aking old formula <laughs> this one has blue beads in it Ito yung kanilang second the formulation. And the moment I tried it, parang sabi ko, hmm, sabi ko ganyan, maybe it's just my skin trying to adjust itself dun sa new formulation. But then, after two weeks, after three, after four weeks, sabi ko, bakit ganun? Parang iba na yung pakiramdam ko. Based on my experience, it did the total opposite ng first formulation. Number one, it did not deodorize my underarms. Parang ako yung nak... <laughs> Hindi ko alam na pwede pala akong makadevelop ng ganong klase ng amoy sa kiligili ko. I felt as if I developed a weird body odor. Let me know for those of you who have used the second formulation ng Mamala, kung na-experience nyo rin ba yun na parang amoy ng kilikili ko, alam mo yung basang, basang socks? 
na tinago mo sa drawer, ay hindi, basang socks na nilagay mo sa plastic, tinago mo sa drawer, and then after a day or two, binuksan mo. Parang ganun yung amoy ng kilikili ko. Maliban doon, yung blue beads nito, feeling ko nung una parang ang magiging effect niya. Alam niyo sa laundry detergent na pag nilalagyan ng nung, nung kulay blue, matawag doon, yun yung pinapahid sa beke, di ba? Pero kapag dating sa laundry detergent, pag nilalagyan mo noon, mas pumuputi yung mga mapuputing damit. Akala ko ganun yung magiging effect ng blue beads na nandito. Pero to be honest guys, parang wala na ba siya naging effect talaga sa kilikili ko? Para lang siyang food color na nilagay lang doon for aesthetic purposes lang siya. Number three, yung pinaka importante, it did not whiten my underarms. It didn't do anything on my underarms. Like, seriously, wala, wala talaga. Sabi ko, bakit ganito itong second formulation na ito? Nakakapanghinayang kasi, alam niyo, hindi ko maintindihan dun sa kanilang manufacturer or kung sino man ang gumawa nito. Why did you have to change it? The first formulation was working wonders on me and for so many other people, then... No sumikat biglang iniba niyo yung formulation. Parang feeling ko tuloy, parang may feeling na parang hindi nadaya ako na para bang alam niyo dahil sumikat na siya yung ano bang tawag doon? Kumbaga sa juice, parang naging watered down siya. Parang ganoon. Hindi ko alam kung nilagyan ba nila to ng extender pero ganoon talaga yung nararamdaman ko na feel ko nung ginagamit ko na siya. Basta iba talaga. I think the only good thing that it did on my underarms is to moisturize it. Parang yun lang. Pero kasi naman, sino bang kailangan ng moisture sa kilikili nila, ba? Diba? Kasi nga, nagpapawis na ako ng bongga-bongga. Tapos magbo-moisturize pa ba ako? Di lalong nagkaroon ng factory tayo ng, alam niyo, ng sweat under my arms. O oh, yun na nga. What made me do another exclusive video talking about Mama La Virgin Dio? Because I often get questions from my Instagram followers, on my email, on my Facebook page, kahit yung mga normal na taong kakilala ko lang, lahat sila nagtatanong, bakit ganito yung nangyari sa mamala? Or if this is truly, truly, truly effective. Well, if you're going to ask me, kung magkakaroon tayo ng time machine at magta-travel tayo back in time, mas gusto ko talaga yung old formulation nila. But as of the moment, wala akong nakikita na online stores na meron nung kanilang old formulation. Ang meron ay yung second or yung meron na nga ngayon yung parang yung third gen na version nila. Hindi ko pa nasusubukan yung third generation na formulation nito. Pero natatakot talaga ako kasi feeling ko baka, baka bumalik yung dating itim ng underarms ko. And right now, ay, ito na tayo. I'm going to share with you my underarms. Well, again, yung first formulation nitong Mama La Virgin Dio, malaki talaga na ito sa akin. Pero, parang everything was put into halt. Parang nagkaroon ng malaking pause na button sa aking pagpapaputi ng kilikili. Kaya yung nag ng kilikili ko po, ayan na. Mm. Eto, medyo acceptable pa. O, ba diba? Medyo okay-okay pa to eh. Pero ito, ha? Ayan o. No. Tapos napansin ko na parang nagkaroon ako ng mga bump sa kilikili ko nung ginamit ko siya. Kaya sabi ko, parang I, I had to stop. And if you are following me sa aking Instagram stories, I think I might have mentioned about this na parang sabi ko, ba't ganon? Hindi ko na siya nire-recommend talaga kasi hindi, hindi naging maganda yung kanyang effect para sa akin. So, pasensya na po. And for those of you who are using the Mamala second gen formulation, yung kanina second version, ayan, if this is working for you, well, lucky you, but it's not working for me. And hindi lang ako nag-iisa dito sa experience na to. Ayoko naman na ang lumabas dito sa video na to ay parang hate rant video ko to. It's just my honest experience on using the Mama La Virgin Dio, yung second version. Okay? So, ngayon, ang naisip ko, why don't I try the local market? Why don't I try Watson's? Why don't I try Mercury? Baka naman may mga hidden gems na nandun. Baka naman makahanap ako ng mga whitening deodorants na makapagbabalik ng dating glory ng aking kilikili, you know? If you have any recommendations, please let me know. Type them down in the comment section. I would really love to read your experiences. Malay nyo yung experience nyo, yung recommendations nyo. Mag-work naman siya sa akin. Nung tinigil ko pala yung paggamit ko nito, guys, ako po ay nagkaroon ng parang skin 
detox for about a week hindi mo na ako naglagay ng deodorant and then the week after that ako po ay gumamit ng tawas and then doon ako nagtry ng isang deodorant na locally available sa ating lahat na madali nyo makikita I cannot tell you yet my thoughts about this deodorant probably in a day or two I'll, I'll film a video about it kasi kinoconceptualize ko pa sa utak ko kung kamusta naman yung experience ko doon sa bagong deodorant na ginagamit ko you will soon find out about that deodorant but for the na bululok ko na you will soon find out about that deodorant but for now this is just a video of me trying to make something na parang public announcement at the same time asking for your recommendations well i just would like to thank you guys for always coming back to my channel for anything skincare related masayang masaya ako na nakakatulong ako sa inyo at the same time masaya rin ako na na-share ko yung experiences ko sa inyo i hope na you will not take this video as if na parang niloko kayo dati na dati effective siya ngayon hindi na i'm just trying to share with you what happened to me okay so that's it for today's video sana nagustuhan niyo please give me a thumbs up kung nag-enjoy kayo and at the same time get to know me on a personal level by watching our daily vlogs hashtag the jk vlogs thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you again next time bye